This is the size of barbel that I'm after. This time we are on the River Severn and I got here last night. It's been raining since I got here. Uh, it's cleared up now, but the river is quite high. It's got a lot of colour to it and we're after a big barbel. I was supposed to come here in March, but there was a lot of flooding here in England then, so I couldn't come. We're gonna see what happens. I've got one rod out at the moment, just in the slack water, and double boily. I've had one small fish already, and I've lost something else, which it must have been really big because I couldn't stop it, and the line snapped. So, fingers crossed, something else is gonna happen. I'm here for three days, so, We've got a chance of something good. Right, while the sun's out, I just thought I'd show you my setup, and it's I've got one of these neoteric uh, specimen rods, which is 1.75 pound test curve, and Shimano 6000 bait runner, 12 pound mainline, and I've been alternating between a three or four ounce lead. Uh, or a three or four ounce swim feeder so that's just a cage feeder that one's three ounces pretty simple setup buffer bead swivel just a piece of silicon tubing over the end just to cover the the link and then I've got this um, quarter coated braid that's about two meters yeah almost two meters two meters uh, two feet <laughs> so I've got this quarter coated braid that's about two foot and what I do is just peel back the, the lower half uh, and then I've got a knotless knotted size 8 and a couple of 11mm boilies on there. At the end you've got an extender stop just to hold those on and I've started using this paste which is the same as the ground bait that I'm using even though sometimes I use the cheese one the cheese ground bait and you just make a just soften it up a little bit because it's quite cold today and wrap that bait up in there so when that's in the water it'll dissolve and it leaves you a nice scent trail near the, the hook bait. I'm not so sure today because uh, the river's quite big and uh, 
probably a lot of things get washed away as soon as you throw them in there, but we'll give it a try. So here's an update, uh, I've been here two days now and that small fish was the only one I've had. Um, difficult conditions still, so I'm um, going to have a rethink, I'm um, going to go and get some bits from the van and um, see if we can pull one out before we have to leave tomorrow. So. The river was dropping and then it went up again and now it's dropping again. Yeah. Whether that'll affect anything today, I don't know. But it's really tricky, so. Yeah. Bit of a battle of the wills at the moment. Yeah, man. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Come on. That is six eleven with the net, so it's usually about six fourteen, so yeah, five and three quarters. Right, let's have a look at you. Took a while, a couple of 
couple of days to get you, boy, but what a lovely fish. Go. That makes me happy. Middle seven barbel. Not massive, but on a day like this, it's worthwhile. Thank you. <laughs>